Let's welcome back to the show Republican Greg Stubbe of House Judiciary. Congressman, it's good to see you. Okay, good the Georgia you. Senate runoffs. It's good to see you. Georgia Senate runoffs. It's going to determine if Republicans keep control of the Senate. We've got Republican Senators Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue with a new opinion piece saying, if Democrats win and control of the Senate, the American dream could come to an abrupt end. Is that over the top or is it true? What do you think? I don't think it's over the top. I mean, Chuck Schumer himself said, now we take Georgia and then we change America. And he meant exactly what he said. He wasn't kidding. And if you look at what the candidates who are running against the Republican incumbents in Georgia are talking about, it is far left progressive policies, Medicare for all, the Green New Deal, raising your taxes, letting, you know, doing away with uh, bail, uh, all sorts of things that six months ago uh, to a year ago, you would have thought, weren't even in the spectrum of political talk. And this is actually what they're saying in the, they're not running to the center in the general election. They're talking farther and farther left policy. So if they get elected and um, <clears throat> the vice president is then the tiebreaker, the direction that America could go is absolutely tumultuous to, to the direction that our country has been for the last four years. And raising taxes, the Green New Deal, all the things that uh, Americans should be against. One of the candidates is for defund the police still. I think it's uh, the candidate Warnock. Um, you know, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said if Democrats win control of the Senate, we don't have to negotiate anything. And so, you know, the Republican senators say these two Democrat candidates are the linchpins to, quote, the socialist transformation of American society. And you're saying this is serious stuff based on their policies, right? Yeah, they have the House. We know that Nancy Pelosi is likely to be speaker when we convene on January 3rd and vote for the speakership because the Democrat has the majority. And AOC, if they is right in the fact that if they do win these two seats and they have control of the Senate, it's Democratic control in the Senate, in the House, in the presidency. And the only thing that Speaker Pelosi is going to have to negotiate with is the progressive left wing of the House, which they gain more seats. I think they're up to seven or ten and have a stronger caucus now in the in these last elections. So you're going to see the entire government lurch strongly to the left, a direction that the mass majority of Americans do not support and do not support these policies. So I encourage anybody in Georgia watching this to get out and vote and support those Republican candidates so we don't see this huge swing left and huge increase in taxes and things like uh, the Green New Deal in America. Well, one of the uh, Democrats' candidates in Georgia, he is uh, Mr. Warnock. He's on the record quote, uh, saying, quote, that the Senate are gangsters and thugs for the tax cuts that did let middle-class Americans keep more of their money. He's also on the record saying that U.S., this is Raphael Warnock you're looking at on the screen, that he also said that U.S., the U.S. human rights record is worse in China or Iran when China is running, it has millions of people in concentration type prison camps, and Iran is deemed the worst in the world by human rights groups for its public executions of men, women, teenagers, and children. To compare the United States to places like Iran in human rights violations is atrocious. From somebody who served in our military and served time in Iraq, to compare our uh, record of human rights uh, accomplishments to the abuses in Iran of public executions and beheadings and the types of things that they do there is absolutely unbecoming of an American to even compare the two things. And it shows how dangerous this election is and shows how dangerous it's going to be if the Democrats have control of all three branches of our government. Congressman Stubbe, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.